Hey gang, I want to cue you into how Generations is going to roll over the next several weeks and I want to remind you about some important things. At the beginning of the pandemic, I cautioned us as a church family. I said, look, even though this is taking place in New York, even though the restrictions seem silly, this pandemic is going to do what pandemics do and eventually it's going to affect us. Uh, eventually we're going to get to a point where we're praying for people and we're concerned for people and God forbid we're losing people to this virus. And as we get ready to uh, round the turn of November, it seems like we're there, okay? So this is a season to be mindful and prayerful and supporting one another. If you've not heard of the man Martin Rinkert, you should. Martin Rinkert was a pastor, a poet, um, a hymn writer who arrived in the town of Eichlingburg in 1637. Uh, it was in the throes of the Thirty Years' War, and that year a plague hit the walled city of Eilingburg. All of the other pastors fled the city, and he was left alone. Sometimes he conducted funerals where he buried 50 different people, 50 different funerals in a day. And it got to the point where they just had to go to mass graves because so many people were dying. At the end of that year, uh, they had buried over 4,000 city residents, including Martin's wife. At the end of that horrifically dark period, he penned a hymn that we still sing today. It's not a lament. It's not a, uh, a cry for justice or a cry for help. It's a hymn of gratitude. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices. That's what he wrote at the end of that year, which leads me to the virtue of gratitude. So over the next few weeks, anytime Jesmond County's in the red zone, generations won't be having in-person gatherings here at church. I will continue to teach on the kingdom of God, and I will continue my kingdom of God teaching series online on YouTube and in the, in the church app that's on your phone, and also an audio version if you want to do that while you're exercising or running around the neighborhood. <laughs> um, but on Sunday mornings, I'm going to tweak our Zoom gathering, and we're going to kind of return to a, uh, a version of what we did in the spring. And so for the rest of this month of November, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be teaching a little bit and we're going to have some interactive parts on the virtue of gratitude because that's our November virtue focus. And then we'll have a chance to catch up with each other and pray for one another uh, as we end our Zoom time together. Uh, and so I just wanted to cue you in to how we plan to do that. At some point in early December, I will pull together the reopening team, the pandemic response team, if you will, uh, and kind of gauge uh, how, do we, how do we feel about how we're doing and what we're doing? And do we want to continue to uh, voluntarily comply with what health officials are asking of us? And, and so far, that's how we've been rolling. So gang, uh, I know that this is uh, probably not the set of holidays that you wanted, but there are things for which to be grateful. I'm actually grateful for you. And uh, we've had a number of families step up and adopt uh, pictures that are going to be part of a nativity scene that we put up in the church windows that face the Kroger parking lot. I think I have three different, um, three different objects or people or whatever that you can still adopt. So there's room for three more individuals or three, four more families to adopt these. By the way, this is just a sample. The real pictures that you'll be coloring are three feet by two feet. And that's what we're going to hang in the church windows during the Advent season. We need these done by the first Sunday of Advent. That's when I'd like to have them up. And so that's the last Sunday of November. So that's coming up as they say in the South right quick. So I'll probably be making deliveries or arranging for some pickups over the next couple of days. If you've not gotten your nativity uh, person to color in, you can paint it, color it, do whatever. Uh, do not cut it out. Leave it in the full poster size. We'll do the trimming as we get ready to put them in the windows. Gang, I love you. 
hang in there, hang in there. And you know what? The day is going to come. The day is going to come. It doesn't seem like it now, but the day is going to come when we have a just a hymn and worship Sunday where we just sing our hearts content and we don't have to worry about nothing. And the day is going to come when we have a taco bar. Can you imagine having a taco bar in our church? Oh, okay, now that I've left you with that good thought, I'll see you around.